All right, welcome. This is uh, 5.6, and so we have a couple theorems to write down first. The first one is our corollary to the triangle exterior angle theorem. So you're going to write down everything inside this box right here, including the picture, the if, and the then. So it says if the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is greater than the measure of each of the remote interiors. So all it is saying that when we have this right here, and we've dealt with these types of problems before, it's just saying that this exterior angle right here is going to be greater than either 2 or 3. And that makes sense because remember we said before that angle 1 right here is going to equal angle 2 plus angle 3. So if we are thinking about it, if angle 1 e equals both of these combined together, and what does that also mean though? That also means that angle 1 is going to be bigger than angle 2 and angle 1 is going to be bigger than angle 3. Kind of self-implied, but uh, that's what this theorem is saying right there. Uh, and then our next one that we have is saying this though. It says, uh, if two sides of a triangle are not congruent, uh, then the larger angle lies opposite the larger side. So this means right here that if we have this angle right here and this was my largest angle, then how can I know where my largest side is? Well, the largest, when you have the largest angle right there, it is always opposite. That longest side right there is always going to be opposite of my largest angle. And that is true when the um, when the two sides are not congruent. So obviously if we had like an equilateral triangle, all the angles are the same, all the sides would be the same length, but if we have uh, different angles right here, and this would be my largest angle, opposite of that is going to be my largest side. So pretty easy to remember that one. Uh, my next one, um, alright, again, pretty straightforward. If the largest side is opposite the largest angle, then it also means that the shortest side is going to be opposite the shortest angle. So same thing is true, here is my smallest angle right here, which is going to be B, which means that across from B is going to be AC, which means though that that is going to be my shortest side. So if two angles of a triangle are not congruent, then the longer side lies opposite the larger angle, and the smaller, so this is going to be my, uh, that is my smaller side, and this is going to be my opposite here is going to be my longer side. So that's how you can tell. It's always opposite the angle. If the angle is smaller, then the side opposite of it is going to be smaller. If the angle is the biggest angle, then the, the side opposite is going to be the biggest side. Uh, and then our last one that we have right here, pretty important, is it says this though. We're going to write down this all. It says the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. So this is true for all triangles right here, and really important right here. So the sum of the lengths so of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side, and that's kind of what makes a triangle a triangle right there. So this is always going to be true for anyone, and we'll go through some examples to show how that is true. All right, so let's do a few examples right now. All right, so our first problem says use the figure at the right. Uh, this figure right over here says, why is angle 2 greater than angle 3? So we're going to use that first theorem that we had. And if we are looking at this right here, we have 3 and 4. And we could separate this. We could like flip this figure over so it could look common. But we see that uh, we have uh, 3 right here and 4. And we see that those are both um, remote angles to angle 1 right there. So angle 1 would be like an exterior angle, it's on the outside of that triangle, and 3 and 4 would be the remote angles. So we know from according to our first theorem that we wrote down that angle 1 right here is going to be greater than, we're talking about angle 3, angle 3, because both of these 3 and 4 added together are going to equal angle 1, okay? Well, the question wanted to know that it's bigger than angle 2. Well, if we are looking at this right here, some really important things is we see that both of these sides right here are the same, which means that this triangle, triangle CBD, 
is a isosceles triangle. Remember, isosceles triangle means that the two bases are congruent, which means that, whoa, that didn't really work. That was a highlighter, I thought. Uh, which means that angle one and angle two are going to be congruent. Okay, so if those two are going to be the same length, and if angle one is greater than angle three, well, we can just substitute if angle one and angle two are both the same, then we know that angle two right here is going to be greater than angle three. Okay, so that was our first one that we have. All right, the second problem that we have right here is uh, it says a town park is triangular. It says a landscape architect wants to place a bench at the corner uh, with the largest angle. Which street, two streets form the corner with the largest angle? So if I'm looking at this right here, I see that I have this looks like a triangle right here. And then remember that my longest side that right here is always going to be opposite my biggest angle. So I'm trying to think, well, which one is my longest side? That's 175, that's 120, that's 105. This right here is going to be my longest side of the triangle. Well, we know, though, that opposite of this right here is going to be the largest angle. So that's an arrow. This right here is going to be my largest angle. So looking at that right now, what two streets uh, form that corner? Well, we know that uh, MLK, MLK Boulevard, Boulevard, and Valley Road. Those two right there form together to make the largest angle. And again, remember, like if we have an angle right here, the larger the side is going to be, that larger the angle is going to be. So again, if it's a small angle across from it, it's going to be the small side. That was my largest side. So across from this right here, this right here, that angle is going to be my largest angle. Largest angle is always across the largest side. Okay. All right. Next one. All right, here we go. Uh, it says, you're going to write this down right here. Uh, it says, which choice shows the sides of triangle TV in order from the shortest side to the longest side? So again, it just gives me the angles right here. So I know a triangle right here is going to add up to 180 degrees. So if I take 58 right here and I add it with 62, both of those added together are going to equal 120. And again, a triangle is going to equal 180. So if I take 180 minus 120, means that this angle over here is going to be 60 degrees. Okay. So now I know all the degrees, and I know well the shortest side is going to be across from the shortest angle, the largest side across from the largest angle. So here is 62 right here. So I know across from 62, this is going to be my longest side. Uh, let me erase this so it's a little bit cleaner. Um, I know that what's going to be my next one. Well, here is 60 right here. So across from 60 is going to be my middle. That's going to be my second longest side. And across from this right here, 58, that is going to be my smallest side. So if I'm looking at it, I would see that TU is going to come first or UT which means that this one and this one are out and that one is two. So I have B right here would be my answer, answer <laughs> UT, UV, and TV. Yep. So remember, just the larger side, it's always across from the angle. If the angle is the biggest angle, across from it is going to be your biggest side and so on. Okay. One more. Uno más. All right. And then our, our last type of problem is right here. It says... Uh, can a triangle have sides with the given lengths? So remember that the two sides of a triangle have to be bigger than the one side. So um, I have right here, I have my two sides right here. Here is three and plus seven. That needs to be bigger than eight. Well, let's see if this is true. This is 10 is bigger than eight. Yes, 10 is bigger than eight. So yes, right here. This is a triangle that we have. Okay. Uh, let's take a look. So these are really quick right here. Let's take a look at another one I have. So 
if I have this right here, again, my two sides of the triangle, I have 3 and 10, 5 and 10. 5 and 10, they need to be bigger than 15. Well, when I add these together right here, that's going to give me 15. Well, is 15 greater than 15? No, it is not. So this would not be a triangle right here. This is using that last theorem that we have. And let's just do one more right here because they're so darn easy. If I'm looking at this, uh, a triangle has sides uh, 2 and 6. Both of those need to be bigger than the longest side of 9. Well, when I add these together right here, is that going to be bigger? Is 8 bigger than 9? No. That would not be a triangle right there. Okay? And so that's how we figure it out. Thanks for watching, and we'll do some practice in class. See you guys soon.